What's up, flamethrowers? It is me, Flame the Dragon Hog here, and welcome to another versus Would You Rather video. That is right. Today, I am here with a very special guest. You, I had her on the channel before, but she was with my friend Knuckles, and in her human form. But this time, I have her here in her hedgehog form. I have here Yang Zhao Long from Team Ruby. Say hi to everybody, Yang. What's up, everybody? Yang Zhao Long here, ready to step into the battlefield. So, uh, Flame, you said our opponents are going to be, uh, someone really special? Yep, that's right. They're going to be somebody really, really special. In fact, I actually got a call from re I got a call recently from them. They said they were going to come here to stay and help us. Oh, well, who are they? Well, they should be here in about three, two, one. Oh, here they are now. Uh, I told you this was the place, Raven. Don't give me that crow. I told you it was this way. Oh, looks like we're here. And I see two... Rats? Hey, I'm not a rat. I'm Flame, the dragon hog, the person that you're here to meet. Oh, and where is my sorry excuse for her daughter? Right in front of your face! Oh, well, <laughs> that's a good look for you, Yang. Nah, don't pay her any mind. How you doing, Yang? Just wonderful, Uncle Crow. Yep, that's right, everybody. I brought in... Ruby and Yang's uncle, Crow. Hey, uh, hey, everybody. <laughs> you guys got a bar in this place? Uh, no, we don't drink. Uh, well, that's too bad. Luckily, I brought my own drink. <sighs> uh, man, that's good. Crow, when are you gonna stop drinking? The day you become a great mother. Dang. Okay. And anyway, if you guys didn't tell, I also have here, uh, Yang's mom, Raven. Hello, everyone. <laughs> so, what's this game you have us here playing? Well, it's called Would You Rather. It's a multiple choice game where you have to pick between two options. And whichever option you pick with the most percentage of people that agree with that option you pick, you get a point, but it all depends on the last question. However, this however, this one is going to be a little bit different. Uh, we're doing a versus would you rather. So it's going to be me and Yang versus you two, Crow and Raven. Uh, it seems simple enough. So let me guess. You're going to be asking questions to us, and we are going to, um, and we're going to answer them to see who wins. Yep, that's right. And once we reach the last, and once we reach the last question, we will be, all four of us need to answer. So two people pick one option, and two other people need to pick another option. You get it? Hmm, seems simple enough. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, so if you guys want to see more Would You Rather videos, hit that like button. And let me know in the comments below if you guys want Crow and Raven back on the channel. Because, like I said before, they're going to be here for a while. Okay, so without further ado, let's head on over to Would You Rather and get this thing started. Oh, and uh, hey Yang, you like my new wallpaper? Wow, it looks really nice. Wait, is that the picture of our family? Yep, the picture of your family. See, there's you in the background. There's your, there's, there's a Summer, Summer Rose, uh, Ray, Ruby's mom. And then there's Ty, then there's Yang, and then there's you, Raven, way in the back. Huh, why am I in the back? Uh, maybe it's because you kind of are a, uh, <clears throat> an outcast of the family. What was that? Nothing, nothing. Anyway, let's head on over to Would You Rather and get this thing started. Okay, I'm all set. Okay, we're all set. Oh, stupid thing, get out of here. Okay, we're all set. Let's do this thing. Alright, so I'm going to be asking question 
So first, I'm going to be asking a question to Crow. Let's go in. All right. Would you rather give up your smartphone for a day or give up food for a day? Well, I'm not always on my phone like you kids. Or in this case, in the world of Remnant, we have scrolls, which is kind of like a phone. Well, in this case... I guess I would have to say, give up my scroll for a, for a day, because I'm not usually on my scroll all the time. But after all, I do need to eat. I can't always drink all the time. Okay. Well, if you ask me, I'm going to have to say, give up my smartphone for a day. Because after all, it is a whole day. I mean, after all, it is a whole day. I mean, think about it. Once you get that whole day done, then you'll be able to get back on it. But then again, there might be an emergency where I do need my phone. But wait, I guess I can always use a house phone or pay phone. So I guess I'm going to have to say, uh, give up smartphone. Hmm, smart kid. I guess I'm picking smartphone as well. All right, let's see. Oh, and it looks like 58% would rather give up for a day. You kids and your phones. Remember to always put them down. After all, phones can be bad for you. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, well, sometimes phones can be bad for you, especially with the later model. I mean, have you heard what happened? Oh yeah, they always start exploding because of malfunctions. Yeah, them. Okay, uh, Yang, would you like to uh ask your mom this question? Okay. Uh, Mom? What is it? What is it? Alright, would you rather look young and feel like an old person, or look old and feel like a young person? Hmm. Well, well, I don't like to brag about my looks. I am pretty beautiful. But even though I am kind of older, I do always feel like I'm young again. Like back when I was in that, t like I was in the uh, team with uh, Ty, Summer, and Crow. But now that I'm older, I still kind of feel young again. So I'm gonna have to say, look old. I'm gonna have to say, look old, but feel like a young person. Hmm. Well, if you ask me, I'm uh, well. I am kind of older than my sister Ruby, so I guess I am kind of technically an adult, but I still have a girlish personality. So I guess I'm gonna have to say, look young, but feel like an old person. <laughs> well, that's interesting, Yang. Let's see what we pick. <laughs> and it looks like 58% agree with me. See, it's always good to look old. But always have that kitty personality. I guess you so. Um. I guess so. So, um. Let's see what else we have here. Alright, then. Let's see. Uh, Crow, here we go. Would you rather get married on the moon or have your honeymoon on the moon? Uh, how the heck are we supposed to have a honeymoon or at least get married on the moon? I mean, that's just weird. Yeah, that is kind of weird. Okay, so I'll go first. Um, to be honest, I didn't get married on the moon, or I didn't have my honeymoon on the moon. That was kind of weird. But again, uh, it would be kind of cool having your honeymoon or, or the, um, but wait a minute. Now that I think about it, how the heck are we supposed to sustain a honeymoon on the moon? Because think about it like this. Because if you have your honeymoon on the moon, then you're going to have to, you know, click, click, bang, bang without your space suits. And you need your space suits to survive in space. So, obviously, no. I mean, I guess it can hurt to have a wedding on the moon. Besides, at least, at least it's going to be there for one day, right? You have a good point, kid. I guess I would have to say get married on the moon. Even though I am a single bachelor, I'm not really planning on settling down like my brother Ty.
Okay, well... Alright then. Okay, well, let's see what we have here. Alright, let's see. Yep, and it looks like 53% agree with both of us, Crow. <laughs> As they should. Because after all... I mean, because after all, who would want their honeymoon on the moon? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, uh, Yang, go ahead and ask Raven this question. Alright, Mom, would you rather have a unibrow or a full back of hair? Hmm, well, I kind of already have a full back of hair. Because my hair all the way goes, goes down my back. As does mine. I mean, that's one of my many traits I get from you. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to say a full back of hair. No, wait, are they talking about, like, back hair? I believe they are. Ew, that's disgusting. I guess I would rather go with the unibrow. Yeah, me too. Even though some people do claim to call me a tomboy. I'm not a tomboy, people. I just act tough. Because, hey, girls can act tough, too. Hmm. That's right. Us girls can act tough, too. Uh, Crow, by any chance are you feeling scared? I'm always scared. Oh, boy. Okay, girls, you can continue. I'm sorry. Well, as I said before, I'm picking the unibrow. I guess I'm picking the unibrow, too. All right, ladies, let's see what you've got. And it looks like 51% would rather have a full bag of hair and then having, like, one great big unibrow. Hey, at least we have one great big unibrow instead of a full bag of hair. Yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, if they were, I mean, if they were talking about back hair, that would be kind of weird and gross. Ew. Anyway, let's see what else is here. All right. All right, this time I'm asking the question to Raven. All right, then. Ask away, you little freak. Hey, don't talk to my... Hey, don't talk to my master like that. Okay, fine. Flame. Go ahead. Ask the question. All right. Would you rather make all your clothes... Would you rather make all your clothes even if you can't sew, or... Pay twice as much for your clothes. Well, if you ask me, I don't have to pay anything because I am royalty. I have a tailor, which is kind of my, which is my ex-girlfriend. What? So you're trying, so you're trying to tell me your ex-girlfriend is working for you. Man, you're so lucky. No, Crow, it's not like that. I'm happily married, okay? I'm happily married to to this most beautiful girl. Her name is Sarah. And if you're wonder and if you ask, do I have anything for my ex that's working for me? No, I do not. Okay? I told her she can work for me as long as nothing happens between us. And plus, she respects my marriage. So anyway, back to this. Anyway, so back to this. Um I would, okay, um, honestly, I would want to make my clothes, because if you look at me, I barely have any clothes on. I mean, I'm just wearing a vest and boots and gloves. Yeah, I can see that. Well, as for me, my clothes, well, I kind of paid for them. Well, I, well, I'm getting, I stole them. I stole them. Mama, I told you, no thieving. Hey, I can't help it. I'm a bounty hunter slash thief. I mean, what do you expect of me? Okay, well, anyway, but if you weren't a bounty hunter or a thief, would you pay twice as much for your clothes or make them yourself? I would rather make them myself. Because even though they are still, even though they might be screwed up, I don't care. At least they'll be covering my back. So that way I won't be totally exposed. Yeah, I guess you're right. Anyway, let's see. Oh, and it looks like 58% would rather uh, pay twice as much. Okay, well, let's see. Okay, Yang, go ahead and ask this question to your Uncle Crow. Alright then, Uncle Crow, would you rather wake up in the morning look like looking like a giraffe 
Or I wake up in the morning looking like a kangaroo. Hm. In my case, he looks like all of them. Shut up, Raven. Anyway, I guess I would have to say... I guess I would have to say, wake up and look like a kangaroo. Because honestly, having a long neck like that, that would be so weird. Hmm, well, if you ask me, I would want to wake up looking like a kangaroo as well. Because, um, honestly, having a long neck, that would be kind of weird. See, my niece gets it. Yeah, so let's see what we got. Alright guys, let's see what you pick. Oh, and it, oh, and it looks like 67% agree with both of you. Okay, okay, I see, I see. Okay, I see. All right, next. Qu okay, next. Uh, stupid ads, get out of here. Okay. Okay, so, Raven, would you rather hold hands or hug? Mm, I don't do much of the... I don't do much of the... I don't do much of the mushy stuff anyway. Heck, I never even hugged Yang when she was born. Yeah, that is true. You never do. Hmm. Well, if you ask me... Well, if you ask me, I would rather... You know what? Screw it. I might as well hug. Wow. Well, I guess I would want to hug. I mean, uh, holding hands is one thing, but holding a hug, I mean, a hug, woo, that's one thing. So, yeah, I guess I'm gonna hug, hug too. Wow, Mom, I never knew you had the soft side. Look, I may not be the best mom, but I might as well get this off my chest. I still love you, Yang. You're my daughter. Mom, you're the best. Yeah, no. Okay, well, anyway, let's see. Wow. Okay, so it looks like 6% would rather hold hands. Guys, what's wrong with hugs? Hugs are good. I mean, there's nothing wrong with hugs. I mean, okay, never mind. Anyway. All right, uh, Crow, you can ask this question to Yang. I, we reached that time where you guys are asking questions. All right, then. Yang, would you rather... Ride a bull, or be pursued by a bull. Um, I guess I'd rather say be pursued by a bull. I'm gonna get to punch it in the face. As long as it's one of those um bull grim, as long as one of those bull grims, they're really really cool. I never just seen one, but I have seen pictures of one. Gosh, I really wanna meet one so I can punch it in the face. <laughs> Keep living the dream, yeah. Keep living the dream. Honestly, I would want to ride a bull. I mean, that would be kind of cool. <laughs> as long as it doesn't spill my beer. Yeah, Uncle Crow, really? Yeah, Crow. I mean, when are you going to stop drinking? The, de the day Raven becomes a good mother, which might be sooner than we think. Yeah. <laughs> so, eat that, big brother. All right, let's see what we pick. All right, let's see. And it looks like 54% agree with you, Crow. Wow, I guess people really don't want to be pursued by a bull. I mean, don't you want to take a chance? Uh, Yang, personally, I don't think anybody wants to take a chance at either being ran down by a bull or being killed by a bull or stomped by a bull. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, uh, Raven, you can go ahead and uh, ask me this question. Alright, then, Flame, would you rather drink hot chocolate or a ice or a cold sundae? Personally, I would go for the sundae. I didn't go for an ice bowl of ice cream. Hmm, well, if you ask me, I would rather have hot chocolate. I mean, there's nothing wrong with sitting back enjoying a nice cup of hot chocolate. Hmm. I guess you're right. I mean, it does get cold sometimes when I'm camping out in my in my tent. So, and most of the time I do wish I had a nice cup of hot cocoa. 
you know, I'm going to change my mind. I'm going with the hot chocolate. All right, then. So it looks like we're both picking hot chocolate. All right, what do we got? Wow, well, it looks like 50 percent would rather have ice cream sundae. I mean, there's nothing wrong. I mean, there's nothing wrong with having an ice cream sundae or a cup of hot cocoa from time to time. Only if, the appro only if it's appropriate. Like, like you can't say that you want to drink a hot toast, hot cocoa while it's the summertime, or eat a bowl of ice cream while it's winter. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. But anyway, yeah. Let's see what else. Okay, let's see what else we got here. All right, would you? Okay. All right. This this question is to crow. Lay it on me. All right. Would you rather have a lisp or have a lazy eye? If you ask me, I can't have a lazy eye. I'm always tired all the time, so I can barely keep my eyes open most of the time. So I guess I would rather have a lazy eye. Okay. Well, if you ask me, I guess I would rather have a lisp. Because if I had a lisp, I'd probably be talking like this. See? Because... Honestly, uh, talking with a lisp is kind of difficult. Uh, Flame? Yeah? Do you have a lisp? No, I don't have a lisp. I was just demonstrate. Guys, I don't know what the heck just happened. Uh, sorry, Flamethrowers, the game kind of timed out. Okay, never mind. Uh, forget the lisp. Forget the lisp thing. Okay, uh, anyway, uh, looks like we, uh... <laughs> Well, I guess the game is letting us know that it's almost that time. So, I guess this could be the first, I guess this could be the last question. Alright, so, last question for everybody. Would you rather have a cat scratch your face or scratch your genitals? Yikes! Okay, that's just weird. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna skip this one because that's just too inappropriate. Alright, would you rather be a famous director or a famous actor? Hmm, if you ask me, I would rather be a famous actor. Because, honestly, I kind of acted in all kinds of things. From TV shows, to games, movies, and all sorts of things. Yang, I already know that you will pick an actor. Nope, I'm picking director. I mean, just telling everybody what to do, that's gonna be fun. Hmm, Mike, mother, daughter, I'm picking director, too. Okay, what about you, Crow? Personally, I am a Jennifer. Because honestly, um, I'm pretty sure I kind of created a new kind of acting technique. Really? What kind of acting technique did you invent? It's called drunk acting. Drunk acting? Yeah, it's when I act up on stage while drunk. Okay, well, that's kind of interesting. Well, I guess me and Crow are picking Be Famous Actors. While the ladies are picking being famous directors. Yep, looks like it. You ready for this, Mom? Ready as I'll ever be. Ready, ready as I'll ever be. All right, then. Crow, you ready? Lay it on us. All right, so. The winner in three, two, one. Oh, and it looks like me and Crow win this. <laughs> yeah, up top, buddy. All right. Well, looks like we didn't win this one, Mom. Hmm. Hmm. Don't worry. We'll get him next time. Hmm. Well, as long... Well, okay then. Well, anyway, I'd like to thank both Crow and Raven for coming out. You know, it would be kind of cool if you guys stayed here for a while. I mean, it can't hurt for you guys to, uh, I don't know, stay here on Mobius with Yang, Ruby, and the other members of Team Ruby. Wait, the other members of Team Ruby are here? Yeah, and also, uh, Crow, if you're looking for Ruby, just look for a red hedgehog with a scythe. Hmm, noted. And let me guess, if I want to find Weiss, I'll look for a white hedgehog with a sword. And if I'm looking for Blake, I look for a black cat with a katana. Wow, wait, have you been here before? No, I'm just taking a guess. Okay. Well, anyway. Anyway, uh, guys, thank you for coming out here. Wait a minute. I kind of feel different. Yeah, me too. <sighs> Wait, what just... Oh my gosh! I turned into an actual raven! <laughs> That's odd. I actually turned into a crow. 
Yeah, I forgot to mention this, guys. Uh, when you stay, when you're on Mobius, humans, they become their, uh, inner animal. And since both of you are, uh, named Raven and Crow, uh, Crow, you actually turned into a crow, and, uh, Raven, you actually turned into a raven. <laughs> this is embarrassing. I don't know. <laughs> At least we'll be able to fit in out here. Yeah, I guess so. Well, anyway, if you guys enjoyed this, uh, versus Would You Rather video, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to bring, uh, Crow the Crow back, or Raven the, uh, well, Raven back. Anyway, uh, do you have, okay, anyway, do you guys have anything else to say, uh, before we sign out? All I have to say is, I'm glad that my mom is, uh, finally becoming nice. Hmm. Step by step, Yang. Step by step. Okay. Uh, what about you, Crow? Is there anything else you want to say? All I have to say is, where's my beer? Wow. Okay. Well, anyway, I guess this is, uh, Flame the Dragon Hog. Yang the Hedgehog. Crow the Crow. And, I guess, Raven the, uh, Raven. Signing out for now. Later, flamethrowers.